Yeah, I'll give you a mic. Thank you. Oh. Okay, so, uh, so we're moving further east again uh, with uh, Hiroaki uh, at Trend Micro. And um, so it's about a rat, and it's specifically targeting Japan or the region. On uh, upon on our observation, on they are targeting on especially on East Asians uh, or Southeast Asian, actually a, kind of APAC regions. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You have the floor. Thank Unfortunately, you. not in the Europe. <laughs> so, so um, the bonjour. <laughs> I practice a lot. <laughs> Merci. 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 Actually, it's super great view from here. So everyone is looking down on me. <laughs> Actually, I've never experienced this kind of conference. Um, everyone looking at me. So um, I'm feeling like I'm standing on the court and uh, I'm testifying and everyone is judging on me. <laughs> so I I'm, I'm feel like I'm cyber criminals. <laughs> But anyways, so uh, I'm going to testify my presentation with the, I'm, with the title of I'm Bat Noodle. Okay. So I'm um, short bio. I'm, I'm working at, our, the, at the term micro as a third researcher. And I'm especially on focusing on the third, research, third intelligence research, especially in targeting the Asia Pacific regions. And uh, I'm doing malware analysis and incident hunting or something. And uh, this is the first time to be here at BotCom. So happy. Okay, so at the introduction, uh, this is uh, how our, our research gets started. So uh, we encountered an elk backdoor in the several targeted attacks, in the targeting on the Asia Pacific regions, uh, including the Japan, the Taiwan, and Thailand, and Malaysia since 2022. And upon looking for uh, any reference about this backdoor, uh, we noticed that most vendors recognize this backdoor as a variant of um, existing malware, such as the ghost rat or recoup, I will go into or describe later. But after further analysis, uh, we concluded that this backdoor um, should not be a variant of uh, existing malware, should be something new. So uh, we decided to dub our, um, the undocumented backdoor as a uh, noodle wrap. So this is our um, story of the noodle wrap. Okay, so an analysis of the noodle rat. The noodle rat is a uh, um, relatively a uh, simple backdoor and known as uh, angry rebel and a calypso rat and also noodle rat. And uh, it's reportedly uh, categorized as a variant of our uh, existing backdoor, as I said, by the other vendors, um, such as ghost rat on the recoup. But um, we don't fully agree. Uh, we will discuss later. And uh, we have observed Windows version of the noodle rat and also Linux version of noodle rat, noodle rat in the wild. And based on our observation, noodle rat is potentially shared among the several Chinese speaking groups, uh, including APT and cyber crimes. Okay, here's a quick history of the noodle rat. So uh, in the early stage, uh, we found a couple of controllers, I mean the CNC control panels of the noodle rat in the virus total. We, we didn't hack the attacker servers. I just picked it up from the virus totals. The based on the, its compilation times, uh, version 1.0.1 for uh, Windows version of Noodle Rat uh, was compiled in the 2016 July, and 1.0.1 uh, for Linux version of Noodle Rat was compiled in the December uh, 2016, and version 1.0.2 for Linux version of Noodle Rat was compiled in the April on two, 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 2017. And after that, um, the, some vendors published the blogs about the noodle rat related malware. Actually, they did not mention that this is a noodle rat, but they are mentioning about um, this is a kind of variant of the ghost rat. So in March 2017, NCC Group published a blog about a uh, variant of ghost rat, um, actually, which is actually the Windows version of the ghost rat. And in July um, 2018, Talos and uh, Palo Alto published a blog about the a uh, rock group, I don't know how to pronounce it, also known as Iron Cybercrime Groups, uh, uses uh, the ba Linux backdoor uh, for uh, financially motivated motivation, uh, which is actually a Linux version of the noodle rat. And uh, in December 2018, 
on Salesforce uh, published a blog about a cloud snooper campaign, uh, which is believed to be an espionage campaign. And uh, they said uh, they observed the Linux variant of the ghost rat in this campaign, actually, uh, which is on the Linux version of the noodle rat. And in 2019, March, the PT security reported about the backdoor um, used by the Calypso APT, um, which is actually a Windows version of the noodle rat. So, and also our, as our observation, uh, turn Microsoft observation, uh, we also observed um, the espionage campaign using our uh, noodle rat uh, targeting uh, Thailand, India in 2020, and Japan, um, Japan in our uh, 2022, and uh, Malaysia and uh, Taiwan in 2023. So um, as this uh, history timeline shows, uh, noodle rat has a quite long history, but uh, not properly evaluated until now. So no one ever mentioned that the, the Linux backdoor and the Win Windows backdoors are the same variant. So uh, we're going to uh, introduce um, what kind of our part will be are similar, are similar to between the Windows version and Linux version. Okay. So um, here's the uh, Windows version of the noodle rat. Um, Windows version of noodle rat is our uh, shell code formed uh, in-memory modulable backdoor which is originally documented by NCC Group in 2018 and uh, PT Security in 2019. Okay, and our NCC Group reported it as a variant of the ghost rat, and uh, PT Security reported it as a kind of new backdoor. And based on their reports, on um, that this our uh, Windows version of Noodle Rat has been used by um, our mainly for uh, espionage. For example, the Iron Tiger uh, used the Noodle Rat in 2018, and the Calypso APT used it in 2019. And also, we also are uh, observed on the usage of the Windows version of Noodle Rat um, by uh, a lot of unknown clusters for espionage motivations. So on the, regarding the capability of the backdoor, on it, it's pretty simple. It's just on able to download and upload the files and run additionary in-memory modules. It also works as a TCP proxy. <clears throat> so on the Windows version of Noodle Rat is kind of shell code form, so it requires other loaders to execute. So uh, as long as we observed, uh, there's a two loaders, or uh, I guess a dropper. The one is multi-drop, which is used by uh, Iron Tiger and uh, Calypso APT. The another one is uh, microload, which is uh, used by um, unknown actors, unknown clusters. So uh, for the installation phase for the Windows version of Noodle Rat, um, it, this is the case of the multi-drop. So we observed that this case on in the uh, Thailand and targeting energy industry in March 2019. Now, there is a kind of dropper which should be a multi-drop and it drops the um, batch file and the DL, malicious DLL file and encrypted uh, Noodle Rat encrypted blob. And our batch will on register the DLL uh, as a Windows service and the Windows service uh, will, uh, will decrypt the uh, um, payload and uh, execute inject the decrypt the shell code into the SVC host and execute it. And the final payload uh, is a noodle rat. There's also another case, uh, the case of the microload, on uh, which uh, we observed our incidents, our targeting research institute in India uh, around 2019 and 2021. So on um, there's uh, two components, a legitimate application and uh, malicious DLL. Malicious DLL will be uh, executed uh, via uh, DLL side loading, which should be a micro, micro load. And it's uh, read some specific uh, registry and, and uh, decrypt it with the RC4. And the final uh, shell code will be injected into the SPC host and executed on the memory. So uh, on the initialization of our uh, Windows version Noodle Rat, on the the left hand side is the uh, initial uh, state, state, uh, situation status of the Windows version of the Noodle Rat. There's a decode stop and followed by our encoded blob. The decode blob will um, just decode on the following en encoded blob by the single XOR. And uh, it will be the uh, right hand side status. There's our uh, jump entries and the configuration and the core payload blob. The configuration looks like this. Um, there's a network key to encrypt the 
on the pockets, and uh, Siangse Ho's name, the port, and uh, working weekday and working hour, which will be used to our schedule on the execution time of the Windows version of Noodle Rat, and also our interval time to communicate the, to the C2 servers. So these are our elements will be divided into the, I don't know, I don't know this one, the bar. <laughs> so this is the form of the Windows version of Noodle Rat. And our, the CNC communication, on, as long as we observed, on, there's our, our Windows version of Noodle Rat supporting TCP and SSL and uh, HTTP. The packet encrypted, encrypted by the RC4 and a custom algorithm using a combination of our XOR and, and, and instructions. So actually this our, our protocol is already well documented by PT security, but just let me uh, explain quickly. So um, the packet consists of the two sections. The one is a header and the another one is the payload. Header contains uh, some couple of random D word in the payload length and the constant value in the command ID and the uh, RC4 key. The RC4 key is generated based on the combination of payload of the length D word and the random D word. Then on the header section will be encrypted by the RC4 uh, with the generated key. But besides the header key field, um, because the, this field will be used on to decrypt our, our packets on the server side. And then our it process to encrypt the payload section with the RC4 again. For payload section, our, the RC4 key will be generated by doing XOR and end instructions with the, each field of the encrypted header sections. So the key will be uh, combined into the hex form strings and used to uh, encrypt the remaining payload section by RC4. This is super uh, complex and our uh, pretty uh, notable encryption algorithm. Okay, so um, here's the uh, command list of Windows version of Nudorat. The During our analysis, uh, we found that there's uh, different types of the Windows version that implements uh, different command IDs. So um, we categorized into our two clusters um, based on the one of the command that is received when it's successfully auth authorized by C2 server. So the first one, the type on 0x0382, uh, which implements most of the command, uh, except the last one, the deleting itself. And uh, this type of the Windows version of Noodle Rat was used by uh, Iron Tiger and other unknown clusters for espionage purpose, as long as we observe it. So this may indicate that um, this, this type of the Windows version of Noodle Rat um, may be our shared version. The second one is uh, the type on Xerox 132A, and which implements full features comparing the, the previous one. This type of the Windows version of Noodle Rat was used by uh, only a Calypso APT. So um, this version may be our exclusive to our some specific groups such as Calypso APT because we have never seen this type of on uh, the Windows, Windows version of Noodle Rat in the wild. And then, um, interestingly, are by comparing the, these commands, the some IDs are totally different. Uh, actually, on the red one is totally different, and the black one is the same. And uh, some IDs are totally different, but the some IDs looks very similar. For example, the command ID to upload a uh, file to a C2 servers on 0x3902 in the type of the 0 x 3A2, the, the left side one, um, is our, okay, uh, the command ID is Xerox 390A, but on the right hand side, right hand side on the, the command ID to upload the file to the C2 is, is our Xerox 5902. So on um, the last three are words are same, but the first one is a different. So um, this could possibly be an uh, indicator of the kind of versioning by our server side. So maybe the light, uh, left hand side is a version three and right hand side version five, but no strong evidence, but I just guess. But uh, it's, this is quite interesting on um, overlaps between the command IDs. Okay, let's uh, move on to the Linux version of Noodle Rat. 
Uh, new, Linux version of Nudorot is uh, on just simply our elf version of Nudorot, but uh, different design uh, compared to the Windows versions. And this is uh, used by the several groups uh, with the different motivations. For example, uh, the ROC, uh, no, also known as Iron Cybercrime Group, are uh, used on the Nudorot for potentially a financial purpose because they deployed on our coin miner after the deploying the Linux version of Nudorot in 2018. But uh, the, in the Cloud Snooper campaign, on, which is believed to be an espionage purpose, which is uh, operated in 2018, and also we have observed a lot of uh, unknown clusters, uh, potentially uh, for espionage purpose. So regarding their uh, backdoor capabilities, uh, Nudorot, our uh, Linux version of Nudorot is also quite simple. Uh, it can perform the uh, reverse shell and download and uh, upload files and the scheduling execution, and also works as a SOX proxy. So this is our uh, observed case of the Linux version of Nudorot. Uh, in the most cases, as long as we observed on um, the attacker uh, exploit a public facing application on um, to deploy the web shell. And uh, after deploying web shell, the attacker deployed the Nudorot as a second stage payload. And the Nudorot on um, copy itself to our temp folders and overwrites on the ArcVRA to spoof the process name. For example, in this case, it's tried to uh, spoof the process name as a uh, user bin node. It looks like uh, legitimate. After that, uh, it decrypts the configuration by RC4 key with the hard coded key R0ST at sharp dollar. Uh, always using the same uh, RC4 key. The, the decrypted configuration looks like this. So I, I will uh, introduce it later again, but it looks like almost same as the one of the Windows version of Nudorot, as you can see. And after that, uh, it connects back to the CNC servers. This is how uh, Linux version of the rat works. Okay, so our CNC communication on the Linux version of Nudorot supports only TCP or HTTP. The Windows version supports SSL, but the Linux version doesn't. So on um, actually Nudorot are uh, using the two different encryption algorithm to communicate with the CNC server. The first stage is on command processing. I mean, the receiver command and sending back the command result to the CNC server. It uses our, um, the uh, combination of the RC4 and XOR and end instructions. This logic is totally the same as the one used by the Windows version of the Noodle Rod. But the, the key is different. And on the second one, is, uh, it uses a different uh, encryption algorithm on the reverse shell session. So Nudorot uh, starts the new session using our another encryption algorithm using HMAC SHA-1 and AES. So the first one, uh, this is our uh, custom encry encryption algorithm uh, during the command processing. As you can see, our, this algorithm looks almost the same as the one used by the Windows version of Nudorot. Use the API is different, the key is different, but the, the algorithm is totally the same as the one of the noodle rat, even if on the header part or payload part. <coughs> but the, uh, on the reversal session, it's, uh, it uses a different algorithm. So it receives some uh, random bytes from the server and generate HMAC SHA-1 and uh, decrypt the response by uh, AES128 by using the generated SHA-1 and verify the challenges if the, the challenge is expected or not to authorize the CNC server. This is our, on the process of the, our initialization of the reversal session. After um, verifying the challenges, the Noodle Rod starts the reversal session uh, between the CNC servers. And uh, adding to there are, there's a, a more similarities between our Windows version of Noodle Rod and the Linux version of Noodle Rod. For example, um, there's our overlaps in the command IDs. So this image shows that the IDs on when it's authorized the CNC server. On the left side one is a Linux version and the right hand side is a Windows version. Both on receives the same command when it's authorized by the CNC servers, Xerox 
A2. <coughs> and also, as already described, the uh, configuration format, it looks almost the same. The upper one is the Linux one. The, the below one is the Windows one. So Linux version does not have a network key, but uh, except that, almost same. So uh, there's a uh, couple of um, the overlaps between the Windows version and the Linux version noodle rats. So this is uh, one of the reasons why I um, categorized on um, these two different factors supporting different platform into the one single malware, uh, noodle rat. Okay, so on, um, these are our commands used by the Linux version of the noodle rat. And uh, same as the Windows version, there's uh, two types on in the Linux version. So the, the first one is the Xerox 3A2. On um, this ID is the same as the one in the Windows versions. And uh, the second one is uh, 23F8. <coughs> so the first one are implement all the features of the Linux backdoors and uh, which is used by the Rocky and the Cloud Snooper and also a lot of Unices. The, interestingly, the right-hand side, uh, the type Xerox 23F8, uh, which is possibly used by um, various unknown clusters, but actually we only uh, found this type of the noodle rat in the, only in the virus order, not in the wired. So we cannot attribute this type of the noodle rat into some existing APT groups or any other groups. <coughs> So on, as this shows, the, possibly the type Xerox 3A2, the left-hand side, left side one, may be are shared among the several um, actors, including APT and uh, on cyber crimes. Okay, so here's uh, the details of the, um, the noodle rat. So the question is like, um, there some vendors said that this backdoor is a variant of the ghost rat, and some vendors said that on um, this backdoor is just a variant of the recoup. So on, um, I'm wondering if this is a new malware, I mean the new genes, or just a um, combination of our existing malware, just the legacies. So uh, let me think about it. <coughs> so. Um, here, so some vendors recognize noodle rat as a variant of the ghost rat. So um, ours, I need to verify if this is uh, true or not. So at first, what is a ghost rat? So on um, the pretty famous one, and originally developed by a uh, security team in China, and now it's publicly available uh, due to the source code leakage in 2008. So uh, there are so many variants of the ghost rat which have been used by uh, multiple actors with uh, various motivation, including espionage and financial motivation. And uh, so the first question is on um, the noodle rat, is noodle rat a uh, ghost rat variant or not? So my answer is partially yes, but uh, not fully agreed. So as the NCC group reported in 2018, uh, they observed the plugins plugins used by the Windows version of the noodle rat were totally the same as the one of the ghost rat. Um, so, so possibly I assumed on uh, the attacker or the developer of the Windows version of noodle rat compiled these plugins from the leaked source code. So, but upon checking on the, the code base of the noodle, uh, noodle rat, it's totally different from the ghost rat. They are sharing the plugins, but code base is totally different. And also, there's another our, our evidence that may possibly uh, link to our ghost rat. <coughs> so, uh, noodle rat implements a similar uh, packet encryption algorithm used by uh, variants of our ghost rat, such as ghost cring and hidden ghost and the ghost times. As this image shows, on uh, a lot of variants of ghosts like likely to implement some custom algorithm um, by combining our XOR and ED or end instructions. <coughs> These are uh, ghost rat variants on um, implements totally different our algorithm to encrypt the packets, but the the TTP or their um, favor, it looks same. They are likely to use the customer algorithms to encrypt the packets. So uh, it could be our, 
weak link to the ghost rod. But uh, besides that, on, in my opinion, on the ghost rod and the noodle rod is mostly different backdoor. So my conclusion is that noodle rod should not be categorized under the, under the variant of the ghost rod. Okay. So another one, a lot of vendors detected the noodle rod as a recoup, uh, including uh, Turner Micro. So um, what is a recoup? Uh, recoup is a simple backdoor on targeting the Linux and the Unix system for years. The recoup is actually uh, just a forked version of publicly available backdoor uh, called Tiny Shell, aka TSH, which is still available in the GitHub. And the Doctor Web uh, reported about the recoup in 2015, and Intezer also uh, reported uh, new ver another version of the recoup in 2018. So we recognize on the each version as our, on, for example, the, the ones uh, reported by the Doctor Web uh, is a version 2015, and the one reported by the Intezer as a version 2018. So here's a quick history of the recoup. And the original one is the tiny shell. And uh, in 2018, uh, 2015, and our, yeah, Dr. Webb, the Dr. Webb reported that the APT31 uh, used the, the custom on um, recoup. Now this version of the recoup uses our uh, HMAC SHA-1 and the AES, which is uh, almost the same as the one used in the tiny shell, but they modify the port call, uh, adding some magic value in the head of the packets. <coughs> so the uh, algorithm, algorithm is a bit different. And also on the tiny shell originally accepts the configuration, I mean the CNC server and support uh, from the arguments, but in this version of uh, recoup, uh, loads the configuration data from the external files. And uh, after that, in uh, 2018, uh, Intesa reported that there uh, are a lot of groups using this um, updated version of the recoup. This recoup uh, version 2018 uses a totally same algorithm by the tiny shell, so they just reverted the algorithm. Um, but uh, in this case, um, it embeds the configuration data in the binary. It, so it's updated from the previous ones. And it also implements some our spoofing techniques to our spoof the process name by overwriting ArcV. So um, I just quickly um, review the history of the our recoup. So uh, let's go through the, on the questions. Is the noodle rat our recoup variants? So my answer is, yeah, partially yes, but not fully agreed. So as I already uh, discussed, on the part of the code of Linux, noodle rat is the same as the one of the recoup version 2018. As this measures, the upper one on the left-hand left side one is a noodle rat, and the right-hand side one is a recoup. Uh, these are totally using the same algorithm, which is originally uh, shipped from the uh, tiny shell. And also, both backdoor implements a similar technique to uh, spoof the process name by overwriting our uh, ArcV. The left-hand side, uh, overwriting the ArcV, and the right-hand side, the recoup, also implement a similar techniques. So uh, we can say that this could be our weak link to our uh, recoup, but the uh, we assume that the developer of the Linux version of Noodle Rat just um, copied the code from the open source and paste it and compile it by themselves. So it's just a small part of the uh, Noodle Rat overlaps. So our conclusion is that on uh, the Noodle Rat and the Recoup is uh, a different malware. Noodle Rat should be a, a brand new malware. So uh, we already are introduced on the, the details of Noodle Rat and also uh, similarities between other malwares. So we're going to uh, move on the server side of the Noodle Rat, the Noodle Maker. Okay. <clears throat> so um, NCC Group already uh, revealed that there's our uh, control panels for our Windows version of Noodle Rat in 2019. Um, those control panels is, has been already uploaded in, in the virus total. 
and uh, as the description of this, oh, oh, oh. as the description of this uh, control panel, um, the one is called as a Noodle SV, Noodle S version 1.0.0. So actually, this is the uh, this comes on uh, the noodle rod comes from this uh, the the description. So um, there's a uh, already a control panel for Windows versions, but um, we newly found our control panel and the builder for a Linux version of noodle rod <coughs> recently in the virus total. <coughs> and there's a control panel or uh, called noodle Linux version 1.0.1. And also builders on the named Maker for Linux v1.0.1 and also Maker for Linux v1.0.2. So uh, we can build our noodle wrap by yourselves and also our, our operate on interacting with, uh, with the control panel. <coughs> and interestingly, and someone uploaded on this server-side components like control panel and our uh, builder with the, on, with the release note written in the simplified Chinese. As you can see this documentation, there's a descri description about the, uh, what's new in the new version and what they tested and what kind of uh, OS version is recommended to run or something, something. So uh, this may indicate that there's our on like a situation like the software industry in the real world. There's our clients, there's our on the developer, they're on sending the documentations to the clients and the developer to keep update the features or something. So um, this may indicate that on the, our, the, the noodle rod could possibly be uh, shared or sold among the Chinese speaking um, Chinese speaking groups. Okay, so um, let's go to the summary. So we talked a lot about the relationships. So it's so messy. So I just give our simple um, their images uh, to summarize the relations. So the, there's a Windows version of Nudorat and the Linux version of Nudorat. They are using the same uh, encryption algorithm. They are sharing the same backdoor commands. They are sharing on the same configuration format. So these two different backdoors supporting the different platforms should be cl uh, categorized under the same variants. But on the, these uh, backdoors shares are some code uh, with their existing malware, such as GhostRat and uh, recoup, but uh, uh, as I already uh, mentioned, um, yes, on um, these backdoors uh, share some small part of the code, but on um, the but reviewing the whole code, so GhostRat and recoup should be a uh, different, um, different one uh, from the noodle rat. So our conclusion is still that the noodle rat should be something new for us. <coughs> okay, so just, this is just the takeaways. So uh, the first one is uh, trust but verify. Some said the noodle rod is just a variant of the ghost rod, and some said the noodle rod is just a recoup. So as already are on described, yes, a noodle rod has a small code similarity or code reuse, but mostly different one. So you should um, verify by yourself. And also uh, don't jump the gun. So commodity malware such as ghost rod or recoup is are uh, likely underrated. So when you find the detection of the recoup or ghost rod in your server, so yeah, this should be something on um, discriminate. So it should not be our APT. So maybe we can just uh, clean up the malware. So that should be done. So it's the bad actions. So <clears throat> so when you encounter such a, a situation, encounter the commodity malware detection, do an on detailed evaluation based on the whole context, not just a detection name. So just come down and carry on your investigation. And the third one is our, on sharing this trending in hacking community. So the noodle rat has been observed in several incidents with the different motivation, including espionage and uh, financial for years. And also we discovered on the, the documentation for the noodle rat uh, written in the Chinese, or uh, simplified Chinese. 
<coughs> so um, as already said, um, this could possibly lead to our assumption that the noodle rat is likely shared or s for sale among the several actors uh, and speaking the Chinese having different motivations. <coughs> so they are sharing the information, they are sharing the tools, they are sharing our uh, TDPs. So why not? We should, why not? So we have to uh, share our intelligence with, their, uh, with us to uh, defend our customers uh, or ourselves. So yeah, that should be the takeaways from me. So I will share the IRCs or the, the controller and builders. You can check it. So that should be all. Thank you. Okay, so now we have time for some questions. Yeah, always in the upper ranks, right? Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I believe this man is guilty, guilty to have done a really good uh, presentation. So he should, he should be sent to the cocktail right now. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Bless you. Yeah, it doesn't work like that, but... <laughs> okay, who has a question? Over here. Oops. Uh, thank you for the presentation. Uh, my question is, uh, what are the way to, what is the way to detect uh, modifications of this uh, noodle rat? Is, I, I imagine it's not uh, simply by signature. Is you use more sophisticated methods to detect. So you mean how to detect the ch yes, change? Yes, to detect these backdoors uh, when we infect it. So what? So how? How fast uh, it can be detected by um, modern uh, uh, tools? Uh, uh, yeah, for, for us, I'm using the Yara rule to uh, detect and uh, also use the Yara rule to check the uh, modifications. I, I have a rule set to detect some backdoor command IDs. So if some uh, backdoors cannot be detected as the existing one, so that should be the new. So I'm, I'm doing like this. So am I concerning your, am I addressing your concern? Thank you. Okay, do you have a last question? Yeah. Thank you for the great presentation. Uh, as you said, it is likely sold to both APTs and cybercrime groups. Do you have any uh, links or IDs that which company is actually making and selling it? Uh, not really, not really, but uh, actually I s deleted some slides, but um, okay, let me show something. Actually, there's no uh, companies to selling this one, but um, one incident we observed in on some regions on <coughs> We found this are uh, okay. <laughs> order, order. Oh, so, let me. So in one incident. Are we observed that this malware named the screen cap, which is on the recording and the key logging. And so this is especially designed for on the information stealing. So and the, this screen cap is used by our walking progress 19, which is our, our published by the on a Sentinel one last year. And the, this group is using our SKR Maggi backdoor 
which is possibly developed by the Win Egg Drop, which is our, uh, who is a Chinese speaking malware developer. Uh, he's pretty uh, infamous for a long time. Uh, he has a long history around uh, almost 10 years. And he used to use, uh, he used to uh, develop the malware for uh, some specific campaigns named the Shadow Force targeting on uh, the South Korea uh, 10 years ago. So um, we have a very weak um, link to this on um, the wind neck drops because we found a screen cap and we found a, a noodle rod in the same machines and uh, the screen cap is used by the wind uh, walk in progress 19 and the walk in progress 19 uses a uh, um, backdoor possibly developed by the wind egg drop so maybe on um, Noodle Rat is also uh, developed by the Win Egg Drop or some other friends or company or something like that. So uh, we don't have a strong evidence for this, so I just removed this slice. So maybe um, th this could be one of the possibility to uh, relate it to the someone who developed the backdoor. So no strong evidence, just FYI. Okay. A last question by Tom. Thanks for the presentation. Um, can the Windows and the Linux version, can they connect to the same CNC server or is the CNC server different for Windows and Linux versions? Um, good question. Actually, I, I've never tested it, but I think it's, it's not possible because some set of the backdoor commands is different. Some set is the same, but some set is different. Uh, and also the key is a different for on the Linux version and the Windows version. So maybe we can just modify the control, control panel by fixing some specific bytes. We can just connect it. But uh, as it is, it's impossible, I guess. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Merci.